talked about this match in the opening. Number one, number two ranked wrestlers in the nation. They've wrestled twice and gone overtime twice. Zach Esposito, an NCAA champion last year against Ty Eustace. Both seniors. 29, 57, 65. Gonna have, Eustace gonna have to. Respectable isn't enough for Ty, right? No, in this, I mean, you know, it's one of those things. I mean, Ty's been respectable with Zach Esposito. This is right. the opportunity to win. I think he's better this year. Just whether he thinks he is is important. Not me, but, uh, but I, mean, I just I, I've seen him wrestle in practice. He looks it looks better. It looks more more aggressive. Looks like he's more solid in the bottom position. Looks like he's tough. That's two right there. Nope, they went off. He didn't go down. I didn't. He slid I, off. Looked like he was going to get it. Good call. Let up a little bit. Uh oh. Got something Green going on here. here. No blood. On something nose. happened. Broke his headgear. Or? No blood on the nose or somewhere too. I think. But here's the replay. Yeah, so yeah, he slid quite a ways. So. Oh, I see what happened. Yeah. And off. Yeah. No, I, those cheerleaders are getting quicker. <laughs> well, they they got warned. <laughs> they had a warning. Uh, Esposito gets right back on a shot. Well, I really like watching what he, he he has a lot. He brings a lot to the table there. Tacks the right, left. You can see him throw every now and then. But uh, when he wrestled Eustace last year at the dual meet, a lot of the uh, Oklahoma State people thought that uh, Eustace out wrestled him. You know, it's funny they have four national champs, but how many are undefeated this year? Is Mako's the only one, and he lost in the All Star meet. Uh, yeah. Esposito's been beat, uh, Rolschild's been beat, uh, and Hendricks has been beat. So, you know. Uh, Somebody's not respecting him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you come no, back him. next year with a target on your back, and I think that's that's obvious. But uh, the uh, I think the guys in the program are trying to get better, and when you're trying to get better, sometimes oh, you try oh, some things oh, at the beginning of the oh, year you wouldn't oh. be trying in the tournament right time. Hand, so uh, what an excellent tournament they had uniform. last year with five national champions. That hasn't been done too many wipe times. Wipe his hands off at least. What you should do is get. You're not supposed to have blood on the uniform. He's got blood on the uniform. He's I hope they have a, another one here with him. Should have sprayed that. 149 pounds. Seventh match of the evening. Oklahoma yes. State out in front, 15 to seven. It could just be easily be, um, you know, the other way. Uh, it's that close. Green. It's been that close. 20. Uh, stalling on Ty Eustace Yeah, Esposito's here. coming out. He really is. He's, he's kept the pace high. He's lowered his level a couple times and a couple, three times, and his footwork's been active. And but, you know, it's uh, still his tie. By the right call, based on how he's calling the, the calls today. Well, wow. he's, he's matured um, as a wrestler over the years. Uh, he's always been very talented, but he's made a lot of progress in the uh, NCAA championship last year. You know, I, I think that he's he's one of those. We always talk the last couple of years about Oklahoma State, you know, having, you know, better athletes in the program. Some guys are doing little, different styles coming up top and doing that. But but he's the guy that I've seen that's that maybe came with a different skill set that is now wrestling more like the traditional uh, Oklahoma State wrestlers here with low singles and going off the elbow ties. And did a lot of nice stuff. Well, you know, Yusis is a senior. He's a cat, one of the captains. Uh, this, you know, he needs to step up here. He's going to put the Hawks back in the meet. Plus, you know, he's a senior. He's going to want to win a national title. But, wow. you know, he's going to have to defend this pretty well. Well, I mean, I'll tell you what, here. this has been a relentless attack, really. Um, he's a pretty he, good job there. Yeah, and Eustace has hung in there so far. He's going to have to keep that down hard. There, he, he's got his hips back. Well, How much time left here? We, Big fight this, right wow. here. Great fight by Eustace there. He was... Fought pretty dead to right yeah. the, on his ankle, and he did, did a, a nice job, job of fighting out of that. The first period is going to end with um, only a stall warning against Ty Usis. The score is knotted at zero. No Go score. Go ahead. Here going over with some blood again. They're going to put another some cotton up the nose and of uh, Zach Esposito. See what they really need to do is put some stuff on that on that um, uniform there. First choice to you, Red. Disinfectant. I would take Red. care of it. You can Red check bottom. out Iowa Public Television's college wrestling website at IPTV.org. You'll be able to get the latest news and results, vote online on our wrestling polls, see video clips of past matches, and you'll be able to get those all important Cover. current national rankings for both individuals and teams. So log on, IPTV.org. Let's Esposito.
Esposito with the escape, escape there, and then he's controlling the, controlling the ties here a little bit. Nice uh, lower level change. And that, that's the type of stuff that'll, that, that may get him a, a stall warning on Eustis. I think Eustis got to come up with a shot of Three, his own here. One There's one. Oh. Right here. Walked right into it. Oh, that's, that's the difference in the match right now. It is. Well, he, he better realize it. I hope, hopefully he does. Let's There's, go. Uh, Come on. Ty's mom right there. Trying to encourage him on. You can always hear your mom. Somehow it's, you know, telepathy something, but you know when Ma is uh, encouraging you on. Ready. So far, Esposito's the one that's been looking like he's the one on a mission. He's certainly been more active here. He's come with the heavy hands, and that time he tries a little slide by. You know, Eustace has some holes, and he better start thinking about using them. He's got yeah, some good shots. Yeah, there it is, right there. This is yeah. He's got a good high cross, he's got a good double leg. I haven't seen his double leg in a long time, and that's what he needs to do on this guy. Flat Work out, out take his it. feet off. <laughs> Work out of it. <laughs> Still, mate, let's go. But, but just right off the whistle, you look at uh, Esposito, he's, he's moving. Okay? He's in good position, he's changing his level. You never really get a good, you can't just go put your hands on him here without him changing or, or getting to an angle on you. 35 seconds left in the second period to score 2-0 in favor of Esposito, the NCAA champion of this weight last year, 149 pounds. This year the championships are in Oklahoma City. That won't be a disadvantage to the Cowboys. No, certainly not. You know, Esposito has a loss to the Michigan kid, I believe, this year. In, in, the in, in an All-Star. Yeah. But that one, of course, didn't come. But I think he had, is that the only loss? That's maybe? his only. So he's, maybe he's undefeated, too. He's undefeated. Yeah, okay. Both him and Monk are undefeated. And, Except and Eustace. Yeah. Two undefeated wrestlers right here. Edgar, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Eustace let's coming, go. coming off an injury. Uh, They're going to hit him. He's dinking around with his headgear too much. The referee don't like it. He better read it. But next time that happens, he's going to call him. Oh, snap it then. Let's go. Let's go. Only one second left in the period. But... All right, Eustace goes down. And Esposito, who used to not be very good here, uh, is getting a little better. All-round wrestler. Need to, you know, need to get up and get out, get the win here. There's a quick escape, two to one. Now, no riding time advantage, so takedown by Eustace is, uh, is gotta, the winner. He's got to get a stalling call. You know, he's got to push him around. He's behind, you know, he's got to get after him. Well, he's really only made one solid attempt in the match, and so it's going to be... You know, look, this is what Esposito does. He just harasses you the whole time. And there's another lower, he changes levels again. Well, works how do you stop field. that harassment? You got to go in there and just kind of <laughs> pound away and do it. You yeah, know, just well, you gotta, there it is, right there. You got to work a yeah. little harder than yeah. he is. Yeah. Got to work a little harder. They didn't like that. Now, First time you. They're going to tell him to get a new headgear or he's going to. Get a new headgear in. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Did he, what did he call him for uh, the headgear? No, he gave him a warning on... Uh, uh, on the stalling or headgear? Stalling. Stalling. Well, it's the same thing. You know, I don't know what it is. I think this headgear is leading into this, though. You know, it's not like he's not wrestling. He's been wrestling, but the first sign of... Uh, equipment. Equipment time. Hey. Well, that's what Mike this kind of, this, reminded him yeah, of the coach. Go. I know, let's this go. kind of a referee is tough on you. And you better make sure your gear is ready. You, have a warning. you may not be stalling yourself, but your headgear is causing you to, to look bad. There's Eustace uh, getting active again. That's uh, good. Uh, uh, uh. You know what? T better tape it on. Injury. He's calling it. Injury. Injury. Yeah. Hey, I don't blame him on that one. Hey, guys. He's a, he's a national champion. Don't you think he'd have a good pair of uh, headgear? Jim? Yeah. <laughs> oh. You know what you do? You tape it on. You just tape it around. You know, look, they're trying every one of them. This is injury time. Maybe we won't find a headgear in two minutes will run out. Well, I don't know what brand name that headgear is anymore. Look at Mr. <laughs> Smith over there. I see Mr. Smith. He, does, he hasn't seen anything like this one. No. Minute 
11 left. One, Big one, one. match for the Hawks here. Big match. There's the two point. Oh, it didn't get it. Wow. Close. That's that flexibility. Wow. I just didn't respect. He needed to drop down on the hip. He stayed around the waist. Look at this guy. Oh boy, I'll tell you what. This used to say bad when he when he, when he, well, he puts it on. I'll tell you what, a couple more though, and he'll get the stalling. Guess what? There it was. There it is, baby. There it is. It's going now over it's time. Going overtime. That wasn't a bad call. That was not a bad call. Yeah, that's pretty good call. That was not a bad. In fact, here comes the win right here. Here comes the win. He used to brought that win on. I know Oklahoma State doesn't think so. Esposito went down. Yes. He couldn't keep up with it. Right. He threw the towel in. He threw the towel in on that match. It's the big one. It's the big one. He's got the cross wrist ride. Pretty difficult to come out of that. He may call him again. I don't know. Wow. There, the national champion has been beat. Well, he's not alone. A lot of guys have come into this arena defending national champions and took it on the chin. And that's what John's saying, you know. John's saying, you did it. You threw the towel in. Right that's there. what happened. Just gave him the hip. It really wasn't anything that Eustace created there, but he was opportunistic, picked up on the leg, well, followed through. But he did about t 10 things in the last 40 seconds compared yeah. to the whole match. Yeah, yes, he did. I mean, that's, that's what created that opportunity to score.